This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, August 3rd, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. A distinguishing feature of Unitarian Universalism is that we are, as a people and as a community, non-credal. And yet, if you ask most Unitarian Universalists what we believe as a movement, they will point towards the seven principles. In their current form, the principles were developed in the late 1970s, implemented in the mid-80s, and are part of the Unitarian Universalist Association bylaws. They are in um, Bylaw Article 2. And they are, rather than a statement of belief, a creed, things that the member congregations of the Unitarian Universalist Association covenant to affirm and promote. In a particularly UU quirk, the UUA's bylaws also require a process to consider revisions to Article 2 every 15 years. Since the principles and sources were published in their current form, there have been two major revision cycles. The first, in the 90s, added the sixth source, recognizing Earth-centric religions as a source of our faith. The most recent was a more significant revision that was proposed but did not pass at the 2010 General Assembly in Salt Lake City. At General Assembly this year, in 2020, the Board of Trustees of the Unitarian Universalist Association announced that it had named a task force to begin the process of revising and updating our principles. They have an explicitly broad mandate. The commission is charged, the board said, with reviewing all sections of Article 2 and is free to revise, replace, or restructure them as needed to meet the objectives stated above. There is nothing sacred about the number of principles or sources, nor their specific wordings, nor in the way that Article 2 is laid out. We, the board, encourage creativity. The board would like to see an Article 2 that is inspirational, memorable, and poetic. The language should be inclusive and welcoming and explicitly anti-racist. Article 2, it should be remembered, is broad statements of principle and purpose not detailed programmatic or implementation plans. So what the board of the UUA is aiming for is proposed revisions by January of 2022, which means that we're going to spend some time over the next year and a half talking about our theology and how we frame it. And so, as a way of starting that conversation in Lincoln, we're going to take the next two weeks of daily updates to work through the seven principles as they currently exist, as well as a proposed eighth principle. We'll take up one principle a day and film them at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm filming them in two afternoons without anyone else around. That's why I'm both in the building and not wearing a mask. Each update, each principle, will happen in a different part of the church. And sometimes we'll talk about the connection between the principle and the filming location. And sometimes the connection may be more implicit and you may email me about it wondering what it is. I'm recording all of these updates on August 3rd and 4th, and so if there are events or announcements that come up in the next two weeks, we'll integrate those into the videos in post-production. We'll begin tomorrow with our association's first principle. I look forward to seeing you and to diving into this work over the next two weeks.